got a week left till our exams and this is our timetable for the last week that we've got. So basically we've planned out things on a daily basis. So we start work at 9 o'clock in the morning and we'll finish at 9 o'clock at night. Fortunately today I was late by 45 minutes. So we're in this high tech room and uh, we're doing our brachial plexus revision, cranial nerve revision and then Sammy got the football match up. Right now it's just the adverse, but uh, we soon we'll be watching the football match while we're while we're revising the break and flex and stuff. So right now we're doing the um, anatomy, great anatomy flashcards on the brain, the eyes, bloopers, <laughs> bloopers, the the brain, the eyes, um, and the scalp, and facial muscles, and the ear, basically all the boring stuff. Now. Let's see how smart he is. <laughs> so, what is it? Go on, tell me number one. Uh, anterior communicating artery. Uh, number two is your posterior communicating artery. Number three is your basilar artery. Okay, wait, let me let me say uh, in terms of where in the body. So number two is your left. Uh, yeah. Left. Uh, Posterior communicating artery. Three is your basilar artery. Four is your left internal carotid artery. Yep. Five is your left vertebral artery. Mm -hmm. Six is your um, left subclavian artery. Mm -hmm. Seven is your left common carotid artery. Yep. Uh, Eight is, eight is your aortic arch. Yep. Nine is your brachiospatic trunk. Ten is your right subclavian artery. Eleven is your right vertebral artery. Twelve is your right right common carotid artery. Mm -hmm. Thirteen is your right internal carotid artery. Fourteen is your posterior cerebral artery. Fifteen is your Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll come back to 15. 16 is your uh, middle cerebral artery. Mm -hmm. Well, your uh, right middle cerebral artery. And 17 is your uh, anterior cerebral artery. Mm -hmm. Right anterior cerebral artery. So, 15. 15 is a bit of a puzzle. <coughs> Give me a clue. Um. Okay, so number one. So number one is your anterior communicating artery. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is your anterior cerebral artery, mm -hmm. and this is between them, so it's communicating between them. That's why it's called the communicating artery, mm -hmm. and that's why it's the anterior one. Uh, so that means two is the posterior communicating artery, because these are your posterior cerebral arteries here, mm -hmm. one, two, and so this is connecting basically the cerebral arteries. So you've got your anterior cerebral artery, your middle cerebral artery, and your posterior cerebral artery. And the anterior ones have a communicating artery and the posterior ones have a communicating mm -hmm. artery. Then they come, they both sprout out from the basilar artery. So this is the base. So the base is. The base is the ba number basilar three artery. Is your yeah. basilar artery? Yeah. And then so then you got. So all of these muscles are the median nerve, except for the flexor copy or norris, which makes sense because it's the flexor the norris, the ulna. so it's the ulna nerve, yeah. Um, so. <coughs> okay, that makes sense. Right, and what about the artery? What, what are the main arterial supplies? The, the radial artery? Yeah. Radial artery? Yeah, radial ulna artery and brachial artery. Brachial? Yeah. But isn't the brachial artery split? I think it comes here. Yeah, and then it splits into ulna and radial. So 
I've got my whiteboard, flashcards, and Udeasy. Right, so I'm in the Wolfson building. The Wolfson building is basically like the research building in our uni, um, and like it's all where, it's where all the seminars happen. So like for business students and so like for business students, accounting students, and and like finance and all this, like all these rooms are all for them. And like the computers that you see all around, they're like the Bloomberg stocks and shares computers. But look at this room; it's too sick. I mean. This is a sick place to revise. I'm trying to get through all the anatomy of the body, as in like the upper limbs, the lower limbs, um, the shoulders, the gluteal region, the knees, the ligaments, and like all the ligaments that we have to learn. And then hopefully I can like test myself on all the anatomy and, and see where all the muscles attach and innovate. And oh, there's just, basically there's just a lot to learn. I'm going to be here for quite a while, I mean it, I woke up today about half eight, uh, went to sleep at like one last night, woke up at half eight and got here like nine o'clock, but I've been doing that for the past couple of days, yesterday I came here like seven, I think it was eight o'clock in the morning, I mean I woke up at seven o'clock, I don't think I've ever woke up that early for my lectures, never mind to revise, but this room is actually sick. Look at the view as well. When you touch something that is that's like that's the substantial gelatinous. Yeah, exactly. Do you, do you remember the substantial gelatinous? Well, basically, you stimulate this, that's and really this good. will, yeah, and this will inhibit the pain sensation to go to the thalamus because it's not a pain sensation yeah instead pain inhibits this and therefore the pain sensation is transmitted to the thalamus projected to the thalamus you get what i mean not so, really no you go 